Okay, so today I'm going to show you how to fly a mission that you've created in Litchi, how to fly it virtually in Google Earth. This is really helpful because it means that you can actually see your flight before you go to the location. You can make sure that you've got your focus on the right parts that you want to be focusing on at the right heights, at the right speeds. And you're not going to fly into any trees or buildings, telegraph poles don't usually show up so you need to be careful of that obviously make sure when you get to your location that you checked for anything that could become hazardous obviously before we go ahead it stands to reason that you understand the laws and regulations for flying a drone in the areas that you are in or the countries that you are in because certain uh, laws restrict how close you can fly to people in buildings. That aside, let's get on with our first mission. Now I've chosen the Eiffel Tower in Paris um, because it's a fairly clear, large building and this will give you an idea of how the different settings work. And the first thing you need to do is you need to go and download Google Earth. Download Google Earth and install it. Once you've installed Google Earth, you need to sign up for a Litchi account if you don't already have one. Sign up for a Litchi account and install the app on whatever device it is you use to control your drone. You're also going to need an add-on. So this add-on is the VLM export uh, add-on and it's available in Google Chrome. So you're going to need to use Google Chrome to be able to use this tool. But it's very good to go on over to the Chrome uh, web store and look for the Chrome Litchi virtual mission and install it. Now I've done all of those things. So let's go into Litchi and start to create our first mission. So here we have the Eiffel Tower. I'm going to turn off the satellite labels because they become a bit uh, annoying after a while. And we're going to look at where we want to fly our mission. So we've got the Eiffel Tower here. Uh, we've also got uh, some other uh, tourist attractions around, but we'll just, we'll just we'll just focus now for the Eiffel Tower itself. So we want to create a new mission. So we go to missions and new, and that just makes sure that we've cleared everything that's already uh, in the browser to make sure we don't uh, have any points of interest there here that we might have forgotten about. And I'm going to right click on the Eiffel Tower, and that's going to create my first point of interest. Now I want to fly a mission around this point of interest, but before I do that, we need to look at the altitude setting. Now the altitude setting is where the drone's gimbal will focus in relation to the ground, roughly. At the moment it's set to one meter. That means that when the drone goes out and flies around the Eiffel Tower, it's going to be looking one meter off the ground. Now that might not be a problem if you're flying far away, but if you're close to it, all you're going to see is the bottom of the Eiffel Tower and nothing else. Now I happen to know that the Eiffel Tower is uh, 1,063 feet high. I know that because I googled it. And uh, let's get it in meters because I'm lazy. That's 300 meters tall. Now, I'm going to set my altitude in this case to 150 meters, which is midpoint uh, or halfway up the Eiffel Tower. So now we're going to just choose where our drone is going to fly. So I'm going to take off from this bridge here. This is where I'm going to be standing, where I'm just waving my cursor now. And I'm going to send the drone from here. Its first point I'm going to start it at is here. So I'm just going to left click. And as you can see, the altitude is defaulted to 30 meters. The cruising speed is whatever we've set in the settings, which we'll go through in a moment. Our heading is 164 degrees, which is focusing at our point of interest. Because I have my gimbal pitch set to look at the point of interest. And again, I'll go through some of these settings. Disabled means that you can uh, disable the gimbal pitch, it will stay wherever it's set at. Focus point of interest is obviously as we've just discussed. And interpolate means that you can manually set a setting for your gimbal pitch. You might want to look at the ground for example, and if you wanted to just look at the ground, you would have your gimbal pitch set to minus 90 degrees. If you want to look straight forward, you have it set at zero degrees. I'm going to focus on my point of interest, and then I'm going to Make the drone fly to another point. Here, 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 and here. 
and I'm going to go back to number one now, click on number one, and I'm going to say I want my first altitude to be 30 meters. And I'm going to go to number two, and set that to 50 meters or thereabouts, and three. I'm going to set that at 70 or thereabouts, and so on. And the idea here is that as the drone flies around the Eiffel Tower, it's going to fly up in the air, get higher, and then I'm going to bring it back down again, and this should give a nice curve to the video, uh, the final footage, and give you some idea of the perspective and height of the building. So there we have it, a very basic mission already set up, going eight points, starting at 30 meters, going to a maximum of 119 and then back down to 30 meters again. Now we want to make sure this is going to work. So what do we do? Well, we need to export this into Google Earth. Now, that uh, Chrome uh, additional uh, little application that we installed earlier, the Litchi Virtual Mission, means that when we come down to our missions here, I can export it as a VLM. So first of all, I'm going to save this mission so I don't lose it. Obviously, I'm just going to call it Paris. I'm going to save that. And now I'm going to go to missions and export as VLM. And that downloads all the data from this mission. And as you can see, there it is, Paris KML. I've already got Google Earth open, so I'm just going to double click on Paris KML and that should open this virtual mission in Google Earth. If we go over to Google Earth now, have a look, we can see Paris has now appeared here. This is our virtual mission. We can also see our waypoints and we can also see our point of interest that we set in Litchi. And now we're going to fly around the Eiffel Tower virtually to see what it looks like. Now I can already see a problem with this mission and that is that we are too close. But we'll just fly around it first of all and it'll give you an idea of roughly how it works. So go down to Paris, double click on Paris and the mission should start uh, and then click double and then double click on virtual mission and the mission will start. And here we are on our first point, 30 meters. And as you can see, we're now virtually flying around the Eiffel Tower, which appears to have part of missing, but that's just because the graphics are rendering. Now I'm lucky I've got a powerful MacBook Pro, so I can have my settings set really high for the textures of these buildings. You might not be able to do that if you've got a less powerful computer. And as you can see, we're way too close here. The drone is looking up at 150 meters, but we can't see the whole building because we're flying too close to the building. So what I'm going to do now is uh, just uh, stop this mission, virtual mission, go back into Litchi again. And I'm going to expand the points, our uh, waypoints here, so we're further out. So we'll just move our waypoints out further away, like this. And I'm going to also set the altitude for the point of interest to one meter so you can see the effect that has on where the gimbal focuses. So I'm going to save that again. Save as Paris, yes. And then I'm going to uh, export that as a VLM again. Double click it and open it back in Google Earth. And now we can see another Paris has appeared. Do the same again. Double click virtual mission and now we're going to fly. Now we've got a bit more of the building, we've got a wider view, but because we've set the altitude at one meter, the gimbal is focusing one meter off the ground. So all we can now see is the bottom of the Eiffel Tower. Again, not really desirable, not really what we want. We can also see we're quite close to some trees and buildings here. So 30 meters obviously isn't really a safe height to be flying at. So we'll go in to Litchi again and we'll change it. So I'm just going to stop this mission. I'm going to go back into Litchi. I'm going to pull my points of in my waypoints out even further this time because I want to get a bit more of you. And we're going to pull number four right out here so we get a nice view of all of this area of Paris, the name of which I've forgotten. And now we're going to set the altitude to 150 meters again, which should give us a nice view of the Eiffel Tower. And I'm going to go back to my first mission here that I pulled out, which was set at 30 meters. I'm going to increase that to 60 or thereabouts. 
just check all the others. There we go. 94, 49. Um, that should be okay at 30 because we're going to be over the water. Right, so again, to save that progress and bring that export back into Google Earth, by now you should be getting the hang of this. And open up our next virtual mission, and here we go. Right, so that's better. We've got almost the entire of the Eiffel Tower now in our mission, and we're flying around it. Looks much better. Could probably do zooming out a little bit more so it's putting those points of interest out sorry the waypoints out a bit more but as you can see this is a really effective way of looking at your mission before you actually get to the site it saves you lots of time because you can sit at home in the dry and practice make sure you've got roughly what you want and then you can go out on the field launch the mission and be confident that you're going to get pretty much exactly what you see on your computer screen there we are so that's basically how you export data from Litchi and then run it in a simulated environment within Google Earth. Just a couple of points to pick up on with this when you're using Litchi. You can also change the speed that the drone flies at and you can do this for individual waypoints. Now this is set as a cruising speed in settings. You can see, go into settings here, you can change your cruising speed, you can decide whether you want the drone to fly straight to each waypoint without any curves. I prefer curved lines. I think it gives it a nice, uh, nice clean movement between the two different uh, waypoints. You can decide what you want the drone to do once it's finished its mission. So it could go back to where it started. It could do the whole mission again in reverse. You could just land where it is or it can return to home. Um, I tend to have mine set to return to home. If you don't do that and you select none, and when you're far, your drone's far away, if you lose signal, the drone's not coming back. It's going to stay where it is until it runs out of power and then it's going to land. So you must make sure you've set one of these. It's really important to do that. Okay, so hope you find that uh, easy. Hopefully if you're getting to the point where you're exporting to uh, Google Earth, you already know how Litchi works anyway. But do just make sure that you uh, make sure you've set one of these settings. Otherwise you could come to a bit of a sticky end.